What's up everybody, George from Venture GT. Today, I have a new video for you. Today, what we're gonna do is replace our two front 3.5 speakers up on the dash. A couple reasons why I wanted to replace them would be, I recently just started getting some sort of weird distortion sound when I listen to music in it. I don't know if I bloom or not, I guess we'll find out. It doesn't sound blown, it just has that weird sound like when your phone speaker just sounds too loud for it. It just, it just sounds terrible. And I'll play you a song so you guys can hear it before we actually do the install. So before we do that, I'm gonna change the settings to have it just on the top. Then we'll check the equalizer, keep everything just dead center. Let's, let's play a song. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear, but we'll find out. I can kind of hear it. Now, I can mostly hear it when it's a vocal song, but if it's like a bassy song or some more EDM that's mostly just beat, you don't hear it too often. So, with that said, I'm going to be replacing the speakers. Hopefully that will help adjust, maybe even sound a little bit better. That's kind of another reason why I wanted to do it, just to at least get a sample of what new speakers might sound like in this car. And I did a little research on what I wanted. I didn't want to underpower any speakers. I didn't want to get something that's just barely above stock. So I want to get something middle ground. So in case I ever want to add an amp and maybe a small sub, I, the speakers can take it. So let me show you what I got for speakers. So yeah, I decided to go with these JBL Club 3020s. Now, I looked at a couple reviews. I did like it, sounded legit. I know JBL is a good name brand that people love. I've opened these up, so let's actually, let me show you guys real quick. All right, looks like we got a little protection from the bottom, and here they are. Uh, they look kind of nice, actually, I like them. They did, I, they are the two-way coaxial speakers. They are gonna be a little different than what the stock ones are. Along with the speakers, you're gonna need some adapter pieces, which I got online. This is what I got. It's the Metra, let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit, 72-7902. I did look up, I made sure this is the right one. Let's hope to God people weren't lying to me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far this is what you're gonna need. Your speakers, adapter, and one last thing, and this is gonna help you out. You don't have to have it, but any sort of panel removing tool. If you're careful, you won't scratch your car with this. Screwdrivers, you know, your hand slips, you're gonna scratch the crap out of it. This might be a little tougher to film than I imagined, but I think we're gonna make it work. So, this actually comes out very easy, as long as you get your panel removing tool. I kinda wanna wedge it down there, and I kinda already started it a little bit. Just kinda wedge it in there, try to pop it off. There are a couple pop, pop tabs, like that one. Right there, there should be, I think, three or four. I'm gonna keep sliding over as we go. Oh. There we go. Oh. There we go. That should pop tabs off. And that's the speaker right here. By the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's been messed up at top at least but interior wise maybe could be messed up inside but as you can see it requires I believe a T25 to take it off all right so I cannot find my T25 torque torque bit what I'm gonna do instead is uh, I'm gonna rig it and see if I can get it with an Allen wrench which you should be able to this shouldn't be on too tight just know that Using an Allen wrench is not the proper tool. Like I said, I believe it is a T25, but I'm making this work right now. All right, guys. Let's 
take it out. All right, that's the speaker. Looks like we have a little, a little push tab we gotta take out. Perfect, got it. So, one thing I'm gonna double check before we get any further, just to make sure. Make sure that connectors that we ordered are the correct ones, so. Let's open this up and see if it'll connect. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this actually connects and works. Holy crap, it actually worked. Sweet. So that is the right one. Thank God. All right. Well, now that we have it plugged in, let's see if we can get the speaker out and plug it into this. All right. So it looks like we have our big connect side here, smaller connect side right there, big piece goes with the big piece, there we go, small one goes with the small E, perfect, alright, looks like it's fitting just right, magnet's not too big, drops right into place, looks good. Looks like it's just gonna bolt in. I'm gonna do the other side, plug it all in, and then I'm gonna play a song before I bolt it all down. You always wanna double check and make sure you check your work as you go, like I always say. Just, last thing you wanna do is have to go back and figure out, dang, I have something backwards. But, let me get to this next side. It shouldn't be too hard, it'll be pretty easy. There's the other speaker. Let's get that Allen wrench back out. Sweet. Let's take it out. There we go. I'm getting some better angles on this side. There's that pop tab in case you couldn't see it the first time. Just take your Allen wrench or whatever tool you're using or whatever. Push it in. And you should be able just to pull it down. There we go. Alright, we'll plug this in. Nice. We'll grab that second speaker. Let's just take a quick look at this outside of the bag. This thing looks pretty beastly. I expect great things from you, buddy. All right, let's plug her in. All right, drop it all down. Okay, we've officially replaced the front speakers on the dash. There's one, there's two. All right, let me get back to the driver's side. Play that same song and see if it changed anything or if it sounds better or we'll see what happens. I am gonna put the screws in somewhat so that way it doesn't rattle around and you know, obviously that would cause an issue. Okay, they're all tightened down. Let's play that song. I can still kind of hear that weird distortion sound, and I don't think you guys can hear on the audio, but I guess it's not as bad, but I can still kind of hear it.
my initial reason, it's still kind of doing it. But hey, it sounds great. <laughs> well guys, I guess, you know, our original plan to get rid of that distortion sound still was kind of there. So I'm wondering what that could be. There's a possibility it could be the front door speakers. So I guess there's another video coming. Let's put this back together, give it one last review, see what happens. So I forgot it did come with this, so I think I will install it just because, I mean, they provide it, might as well put it on. So it just goes around the outside of the speaker. So that way when it vibrates or shakes, it won't actually rattle or won't hit metal with metal or plastic. It has a little cushion. When you take this and remove this piece off, make sure you have these little white bezel clips. These guys do come out. I did have trouble with one earlier. And if you're missing one of them, then you won't be able to actually push it and clip it into the car or into the, back into the proper locations. Just be cautious about that. And it should just easily clip, 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 clip. Yeah, back into place. Sweet. All right, guys, that's all I had. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. You liked it, you learned something. Maybe you guys wanna do the same thing. I'll link everything I had in the description below and hopefully you guys will have the same experience like these speakers like everything please like and subscribe it's george from vinci t signing out